New York has some of the best Greek food outside of the country, and Astoria, Queens is the epicenter. Today, we're going to eat at the best-reviewed Greek restaurants to see if they're worth it. Stop number one, Polaiko, 4.9 on Google reviews. The most underrated coffee shop in Astoria, the nicest owners in the world. Pastries and coffee are super on point and reasonable prices. Run, don't walk here. Amazing pastries and boric pies, homemade yogurt, absolutely delicious and homemade with fair price. I like the word fair price these days. I love this place, it's a real hole in the wall. It's a local favorite, as you can tell by all the Greek men outside. It's a real deal. Um, one spinach pie. And one bogatza, please. Uh, two Fredo cappuccinos. And one Fredo espresso, please. My mouth is watering right now. My mouth is watering. Oh, you're getting excited too. Mm -hmm. This is the Kunuri. Kunuri. Mm -hmm. Spanakopita, bogatza. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I have some free chocolate bars, Greek hospitality at work. I haven't drank a Fredo cappuccino since I was in Greece a year ago. I spent a month there. I drank one of these every single day, and I've been dreaming about having it again. Cheers, man. Cheers. Just like I remember it in Greece. Oh, just like I remember it. Put a little cinnamon on top, some sugar. Perfect for a hot day. It's gonna be like 90 today in the city. We're surrounded by about a dozen older Greek men and they don't even have any care of what we're doing. I love this. This is called Kolori. I guess you said like a Greek bagel? Close thing I would compare it to, yeah. Kolori, you find these all over Athens. I'd say it's the most popular street food you get in Athens everywhere. It's affordable, delicious. Here it is, right in Astoria. The Greek homeland, in fact, New York City has the largest Greek population in the United States. Yes. And second only to Melbourne, Australia, right. for outside of Greece. Absolutely. Yeah, my family came here back in the day. I grew up here in Astoria. Mm. Mm hmm Soft, doughy. Love the flavor from the sesame seeds. Yeah, so good. Perfect complement to a uh, little morning coffee. The Fredo Cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. This we have the spinach pie in Greek. It's called Spanakopita. Has a little bit of feta cheese inside. It's got the flaky filo dough on the outside. Mm. You made that look easy. This is what Tolaiko is very famous for, is the Spanakopita. And she actually put it in the oven for us to heat it up. So it has the earthiness of the spinach and a little bit of funky cheese in there. It's wonderful. All right, now I gotta, I gotta grab, I gotta grab myself some. All right, we take a big bite. A little spinach pie in the morning. Feta cheese, spinach. The Greeks know how to eat healthy. I gotta say, after you eat vegetables in Greece, yeah, it's so hard coming back to the U.S. and eating vegetables anymore. Oh, so hard. And last but not least. Oh. This one's really calling my name right now. This one is Bugatza. It's very famous in the north in Thessaloniki, the second largest city in Greece, but you can find it all over the country. It's a custard pie, so you see that nice custard layer inside, there's phyllo on the outside. On top there's cinnamon, powdered sugar. You, know, you can just smell that aroma, that cinnamon. Oh, I, I can't even talk about it anymore, it's just. Yeah. That cinnamon hits you right away, that bit of sugar. And the custard is not too creamy. It's not a heavy dairy flavor. It's a perfect balance. This is an incredible bogatza. For New York, I think probably one of the best you get here. This is one of the first things I ever ate in the country of Greece when I was in Crete in a food tour. We got this in the morning. Look at me struggling. Look at, look at this amateur. All right, there we go. There we go, okay. Mm. Perfect morning, a mix of sweet and savory. Perfect breakfast. She's like, oh, I give you a fork. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're eating with our hands. She's like, oh, Greek style. <laughs> Definitely doing a Greek style, as you can see. Yeah. Frankie Savlaki, 4.7 on Google reviews. Some of the best tasting and most satisfying Greek food out there. Unbelievable lamb gyro sandwiches. A staple in Astoria. Top spot to have a Savlaki in the hood. The very best Savlaki skewers I've ever had. This food truck is an institution. All right, I'm sold. Let's go. <laughs> I swear you can smell that Savlaki down the oh, block. Right as we pour, oh, it smells phenomenal. Like, I love this place. We get uh, three lamb sticks, lemon salt oregano, please. After holding one of these lamb sticks for a few minutes, my wrist is actually sore. There's like a pound of meat on it. They're very generous. So there's a lot of great Savlaki in Astoria. It's like the top Greek street food to eat in this neighborhood. Uh, the reason why we picked Frankie's, not only because they're the best rated, I've actually been coming here since I was a little kid. Coming here, Steinway, 31st Avenue, he's been here for years. It used to be just a little cart 
Now they're a bigger truck. They've been here since the 70s. And another reason, they also have lamb souvlaki. Hard to get lamb souvlaki in New York, and even in Greece, it's hard to find. All right, let's, let's do this. Yeah. Pumped. Mm -hmm. uh, so tender. Oh, forget dollar pizza. I think I'd rather walk around with this. You? Oh, yeah. I saw a dude just taking this to go, walking and eating. Yep. Oh. Better for you, high ke keto protein. Yep. Keto friendly. As a kid, you're supposed to get the big hunk of bread on top. We just ordered it lemon salt oregano. That's the classic Greek way to get it. What'd this cost when you were a kid? I'm curious. Oh, I don't remember. Like a Maybe dollar? Five dollars something, two bucks. <laughs> Back in the 90s. I still think this is a good deal for New York. Oh, it is. And I feel like this place is so New York. We saw people of like every skin color, ethnicity showing up here, mm -hmm. supporting a, a local institution. Love it. I love Astoria. I, I mean, I've, I say this every time I'm in Queens, that Queens is the best borough in New York City for food. And I know you're, you're not gonna argue that. Oh no, best borough for food, best borough period. I'm biased, I'm a born and raised Queens kid, but I love it. And this is one of the places that make Astoria and Queens in general very special. This would have been so good at a July 4th barbecue. Oh. I know, yeah, get, get a bunch of lamb souvlaki. Like, who needs hot dogs? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I get asked all the time, do I give tours in New York? I don't, but I always push people to Greg's Street Food Tours of Queens. One of the best tour guides in all of New York City. I vouch for this man. If you want to explore off the eaten path, sign up for his tour. Putting a link down in the description. You're going to love it. Bahari, 4-6 on Google Reviews. Definitely a place to visit if you're in Astoria. Food was delicious and fresh. Customer service, awesome and friendly. Some of the best Greek food I have had in Queens, the lamb was cooked to perfection. The absolute best authentic Greek food in all five boroughs. I've been coming here for over seven years and never looked back. I actually think this is perfectly fitting for a Greek taverna because in Greece, eating outside is a big deal. It is, it is. And just like this, like the setup is just like this. Yeah, it's like I'm on one of the Greek islands except we're on, we're on a different island right yeah, now. Yeah, except the end train's rolling by. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> it's not nearly as peaceful. Instead of, <laughs> instead of a nice ferry, it's the end train. Yeah. The piquilia, large, fried calamari, and um, you have the aguinares. Oh, thank you. A little dip Ooh. for the uh, for the pita. Uh, let's me, yeah. Just think, you know, yep. clockwise, five, you know. Yeah, this is our tiro cateri. Tiro cateri, melizana, escordalia, tarama. Tarama salad, right? All right. You know, man, you know, you don't have to have them That's tell why you. I had to order this, man. This is like the classic. That's also why I like Bahari, because they include five dips in their platter. You have the melanzana salata, which is the eggplant dip. Cordaya, which is a potato garlic dip. Tarama salata, it's a fish egg dip. Tzatziki is the yogurt with cucumber dip. And then the cateri, the spicy feta. Spicy feta to kick things off. Mmm. Pita bread, soft, delicious. Feta's got a little bit of a kick to it. I don't know if I've ever had spicy feta before. Usually it's pretty mild for me, but wow. Packs a little punch. For anyone who's never been to a Greek taverna before, why is it such an important experience? Um, it's definitely the food is great, but just the vibe of it. So like, you know, if you've been to Greece or have not been to Greece, eating outside like this, even the way they set it up here, they even put the little paper with these little metal hooks to keep it from blowing away because the Greek islands can be quite windy. It's just the vibe of it. So people usually hang out after the meal, have their coffee, dessert. It's usually a long drawn out affair. Oh wow, Ooh, got got a lot well. of stuff. I, it may not be fresh caught out of the Aegean, but <laughs> seafood here, man, looks on point. Yeah, this is really the classic Greek way to have fried calamari. This is lightly covered in flour and some herbs, not a heavy batter. Just some lemon on it, good to go. Mm. Sadly enough, I've had a lot of bad calamari in New York City. This right here, some of the best calamari I've ever had in New York. It's easy to mess up calamari or octopus, but this is very tender and very light. So this is horta. This is actually a very healthy, probably the healthiest side dish you can order. You get this a lot in Greece. Usually some sort of wild green. Sometimes you use dandelion greens. It's nice just to drizzle some olive oil on top and squeeze some lemon, add that citrus. Let's try this out, here we go. Mm. And that Greek healthy food, like you said, mm -hmm. telling you Greece spoils you with veggies. They spoiled me so much. And the funny thing, this dish here is called aguinaldes. It's not easy to find, especially here in the U.S. These are artichokes with carrot, peas, potato with dill. It's a very comforting, homey food. My yaya, my grandma, uh, she makes this dish a lot. She actually came here many years ago and she gave it the thumbs up. She gave the seal of approval. Yaya approved. <laughs> yaya approved. Aguinaldes. Aguinaldes. Yaya approved. <laughs> Mm. Your yaya's got good taste, I'll tell you. Yeah, she yeah. makes it very similar to this. That flavor of the dill really makes it special mm -hmm. and a bit of lemon. Very homey, like light, comforting dish. 
as I look at this spread in front of us, I have to say I like your line of thinking because you have a lot of different types of foods. We're mixing it all. It's very social. Maybe it was a little later in the day to have a drink or two. Just... Yeah. Might get some dessert though. Okay. Greek hospitality all day long, courtesy dessert. Yep. So any good Greek restaurant worth their weight always gives you a free dessert, whether in Greece or in the US. This is also a good sign. I'd pay for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a Molina cake. Mm. A little cinnamon, very nice. Not too sweet. Only thing we're missing is our Uzo shot right that now. That or, ben, ra or Rocky, yeah. Or Rocky or Sez. This best reviewed series is turning into one of my favorites. Check out the one we shot about the best Cuban food. You're gonna love it.